I just received an email the second from a listener who heard me talk about flu shots and that we're going to be doing just that with Dr. Noah Kelleher from Bristol Hospital. And she wants me to ask him, when you get a flu shot, how long does it last? All year or just months? That's a great question. Welcome to the show, Dr. Noah Keller. He is director and emergency medicine physician at Bristol Hospital. Doctor, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. How are you today? Well, I am doing wonderfully. I had my flu shot, doctor. Fantastic. So, so I am doing great. I swear by flu shots. That's, uh, that's good. We do as well. Good, good. Well, let's get right to it in terms of we are, are we maybe halfway, maybe certainly a third of the way through the flu season this year. At this point, doctor, how tough, how difficult of a flu season has it been? Uh, it's been a pretty tough flu season. Uh, the not, not just for Connecticut, but the whole East Coast has been hit pretty hard um, by flu this year. We thought, uh, the CDC, I like to say we, the CDC thought that we had a good vaccine this year, and, and I'm going uh, I'm gonna say that I think the vaccine is still pretty good. They have new announcements this morning. They think it's probably somewhere between 60 and 70 percent effective, which uh, are, are pretty good odds. But the flu season itself, um, it's, it's been difficult. It's taken a lot of people out of work. A lot of people have gotten sick. And I would, I would agree with you. I think we're probably somewhere between uh, about 25 and 35 percent of the way into the season this year. But is it, is it not too late to get a flu shot? It's not too still. late to get a flu shot. So there's still time. Oh, there's there's absolutely time. There's uh, there's plenty of time to get a flu shot, and the flu shot will last the season. I did hear. Uh, I, I just heard you asking about how long does the flu shot last? Yes. Should you get more, should you get more than one in a season? And the answer is no. Uh, the best thing to do is to get a flu shot early in the season if you can. But it's certainly not too late at this point. Someone had mentioned to me, doctor, and it was not a anyone with great authority, so I'm wondering if you can confirm this or not, that the flu shot this year seems to be in, in concert, if I can use that word, with the strain of flu that is around. It is, it is supposed to be. That's what I was talking about in terms of the, inf- uh, the effectiveness of the flu shot uh, this year. It's, uh, it's probably somewhere between 65 and 75 percent spot on. Uh, there's, there's a lot of... Um, uh, mathematics um, a- and science that goes into making the flu shot every year. It is different every year, um, and uh, I would say they did a pretty good job this year. The the tough part is we've had uh, um, it's 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 been a tough flu season, and so for the people uh, who have been vaccinated, of course they've been fortunate. Um, and some people who have been vaccinated still will get the flu. Certainly something else we can talk about. Um, but, no, th- I, I think they did a good job creating the, f- the flu shot this year with the strain of flu that's been around. Let's get right to some specifics, doctor. Speaking with emergency medicine physician, he's a director at Bristol Hospital, Dr. Noah Keller. Symptoms. And so, that's, you know, you must get asked that all the time in terms of how do I know if I have a cold or if it's the flu? That's a great question. So... Um, I, I want to make sure that people understand that the influenza um, virus is nothing more than that. It's truly a virus. So the common cold and the flu can be very similar. The symptoms of the flu that, um, that I will say are most common, and they are different somewhat by age. Children seem to get more of a GI upset type of nausea, vomiting, some abdominal pain, but the aches, the muscle aches and pains, the cramps that people get, the, the um, joint pain, that is kind of between both children and adults. Adults seem to have, uh, uh, this year especially, much more of the respiratory part of what you would think of as a chest cold or a head cold, along with fevers and the muscle aches. So those are the symptoms for people to watch for. And at what point, and you must hear this all the time, I mean, I certainly do just in terms of people I know who have a cold or ends up being the flu, Mm -hmm. when do you recommend people go to the doctors? They go to the emergency room. After how many days, for example? So um, I recommend people go to the doctor when they feel like they need to. Now, I will say a little bit more than that. I want to say that to treat influenza, to treat the flu, the symptoms have to be caught early. So we don't treat 
patients who come to the hospital or to doctor's offices with flu-like symptoms, if they're more than 48 hours into their symptoms, because there is no benefit to treating those patients, the, the, the flu treatment that is uh, available is not actually a cure for the flu as much as it is a decrease in the number of days of symptoms that people will have. Mm. So it's not a cure, unfortunately. Right. No, I'm hearing that. Goodness. Well, you know, one of the things that I am very mindful of, Doctor, speaking with Dr. Noah Keller from Bristol Hospital, when, when I'm out and about, as we all are, especially over the holidays, shaking hands with mm-hmm. people who are coughing and sneezing and wiping their nose, it's like, ew, Doctor. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I, I, I can't agree more. I, I think... Um, and, and and that's a great take home point. So the flu shot is wonderful. It's great. I endorse it. I think it's it, it's good to get. It's certainly great. Um, you know, for the extremes of age, of course, as well. Those are the people who we tend to worry about more so because they get more ill. But most importantly, I think you have to remember that even if it's not the flu, there are so many viruses and they're all spread by contact. We do not wash our hands enough ever. Um, you know, you know, I work in an emergency department. I'm washing my hands constantly, and I still say to people, we don't wash our hands enough ever, <laughs> but that's what we do. Um, and, and so for people, you're right, who are out in the mall shaking hands, meeting people, um, the, the, the best thing you can do on top of the flu shot is to wash your hands frequently. Take a, take a guess, Dr. Silly question, but how many times do you think you wash your hands when you're at work? In, in, in a shift, so in a 10-hour shift, I probably wash my hands 40 to 50 times. Really? Yep. So that's, that's a whole bunch of times every hour. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, as well, you say, you about that's it, I'm not in, enough. I'm, I'm in contact with patients constantly. I don't want to go from one patient and not have washed my hands to the next patient, right? No, so that's I, right. I, I don't want to be the vector of, spedi- of right. spreading the flu. Oh, goodness, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Wise words, sage advice from Dr. Noah Keller. He's director, emergency medicine physician at Bristol Hospital. Their main phone number is 860-585-3000. Their website, which is so helpful, has so much information, Bristol Hospital. Dot org Again, bristolhospital.org. Doctor, I can't thank you enough for being with us today. Perfect thing to talk about because we are still in, as you know, more than most, the the throes of the flu season. So wash our hands, get a flu shot. There's still time. And um, good health to everyone, doctor. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Mary. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.